So in this one, I, I became lucid in my current house that I'm in right now. And uh, it was dark, which I guess is the default. Um, so I started singing Amazing Grace again. And um, probably because of that, when I, when I walked out, it was daytime, which was good, but there was a bunch of, um, like, Baptist choirs all around singing. And I think they were around, like, baptism pools. And, um, I mean, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But, um, yeah, one of, one of the people handed me some flowers and said that they belonged to, to Jesus. And I was like, oh, thanks for letting me hold them. Here you go. Give them back. And, um, yeah, I think I had a false awakening. And now I was in my room again. And there were a bunch of doctors kind of operating on me. Or they were about to. They were doing that thing where they cut off your shirt. I told them to be careful once they got to the neck area. And then I think they were going to operate on my teeth. Um, but before that, I think I had another false awakening uh, back in my room again. And um, I went to leave my room and my cat was out. My, my cat was there waiting for me. And um, at this point, I was questioning whether it was really a dream or not. I guess because she, she sometimes is outside my room. Um, but it still was a dream. And uh, went to leave the house again. I wasn't able to open the door with hand motion commands, so I just physically physically pushed it open, uh, which is not usually the best technique. It worked, but then it kept trying to close back before I could exit through it, um, but I was able to force my way through. And then I think I either woke up or lost lucidity. So that's my last lucid dream log for a while. Um, still haven't had any accidental ones. Also, sorry about my last video, I completely forgot to plug in both my microphone and my camera. Um, but I didn't realize until I finished recording the whole video, so I... <laughs> I figured I'll just keep it. Not much else to say. Um, hope you guys are doing well with, with your own lucid dreaming journeys. At times I'd, I would think about trying to use a lucid dreaming for like a spiritual kind of soul searching. Um, as some people do, I think. But I think, um, I, don't, I don't think that is a very reliable place to look for anything real. Like, say I go into a lucid dream and I, and I ask to meet my, um, my spirit guide, right? And then say a spirit guide shows up and is like, hey, I'm your spirit guide. It's like, that, that's no indication that I really, that there really is such thing as a spirit guide, you know, like... I can manifest anything in a dream, and that doesn't mean it's it's real, you know? I could say, hey, I want to meet Robert Downey Jr. And he would show up, right? But that's not really Robert Downey Jr. You know, like, it's... in a dream, you can make yourself see anything. So, I don't know. I don't think that's a good thing, a, a good place to look for meaning. You could definitely trick yourself into believing that you found meaning, if you if you really wanted to, um, but I've done that before without needing to lucid dream, so I never ended up doing that kind of thing. But yeah, that's it. Um, life goes on. I'm gonna do other things with my time, but um, I had a good time lucid dreaming and, and making these these videos. I'm still making other types of videos, but you know these specific videos. All right, I think that's it. Bye.